You need to understand that your true power is inside of you. Hi everyone, I'm Anna and in this video we're, talk we're gonna talk about self-reflection. What it is, how to do it, and why it's important. So what is self-reflection? It's about understanding your inner self, who you are, what are your values, and why do you act the way you do. Self-reflection is also called introspection. It's about you looking at yourself inside of you. Do you know that we have around 50K thoughts per day? And the majority of those thoughts are negative. And also those thoughts are the same as the day before. So we are repeating a pattern, having the same thoughts from the previous days, repeating the same negative feelings, so we are going to have the same outcomes. That is the reason why people cannot change their circumstances and their surrounding because of their thoughts. So I hope that, that by now you understand why it's so crucial and important to reflect on ourselves because our whole lives, our whole surrounding, our whole emotions depend on it. So, do you know that our thoughts, it doesn't matter what kind of thoughts, but our thoughts lead to choices. Choices lead to actions. And actions lead to experiences. And those experiences are the ones who determine our feelings. So we, if we have the same kind of pattern for everything, same thoughts, same actions, same choices, same feelings, we are going to have the same outcomes. We need to change the number one step, which is thoughts, in order to change our reality. So we are going to make an exercise about asking some questions about ourselves. I really recommend you to Go sit in a nice, quiet place. You, if you have a garden, if you have a balcony, please sit somewhere where there's no noise. You can grab a notebook and write down the answers. Also, these questions are not just going to change your life from right now to tomorrow. We need to exercise and we need to start being conscious about our negative patterns you can ask yourself these questions once a month and you will start noticing that once your thoughts and your feelings start to shift your answers will start to change too because those depend on how you're feeling so let's get started with that so write down the question and the answer please write down the date because today is the day you are going to start changing your thoughts and your negative patterns. So let's make sure we uh, write that down. And every time we ask the same questions, we write again the date and we analyze how our answer starts to improve. So number one, am I using my time wisely? Next question, am I taking anything for granted? Number three, am I employing a healthy perspective? Am I living true to myself? Am I waking up in the morning ready to take on my day? Please, um, I want to tell you something. There is no right or wrong question. You don't have to show this to anyone. This is an exercise to yourself just to really see how are you doing? You know, what's inside of you? Am I thinking negative thoughts before I go to sleep? Am I putting enough effort into my relationships? Am I taking care of myself physically? Am I letting matters that are out of my control stress me out? Am I achieving the goals that I set for myself? Okay, so analyze these questions. These questions are about feelings, stress, goals, and what you truly like, how you truly feel, and how you treat your surrounding, the people you love, and everything that happens outside of you. So the first thing to know is we need to be good inside in order to have a good outside. 
relationships and our reaction to the surrounding. We need to have values and we need to have goals. But those goals are not external. They are not material things. They are not about accomplishing things. So we're going to make another exercise to start changing our negative thoughts. We have to shift from negative to positive thoughts. And we're going to make affirmations. Affirmations are sentences or are small phrases that you repeat to yourself every single day. We need to start practicing good words and good thoughts and our brain is going to start believing them. So it's going to start changing everything. And all of the outcomes, all of our reality will start to change if we first change our minds. So I'm going to give you an example of affirmations, but you can make the affirmations that you want. You can invent some, you can Google some. I really recommend you to have them visible in your day. You can have them in your phone. You can do positives and repeat them every single day. Stop and really reflect about each affirmation so that your brain has time to process that and that you also relate that affirmation with a positive thought. I know, accept, and I'm true to myself. I believe in trust and I'm confident to myself. I eat well, I exercise, I get plenty of rest to enjoy my health. I learn from my mistakes. I know I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I forgive myself for not being perfect because I know I'm human. I never give up. I am a unique and worthy person. I respect myself. I accept what I cannot change. I make the best of every situation. I look for fun and human for as many situations I can. I enjoy life to the fullest. I focus on the positive. I turn obstacles into learning opportunities. I have control over my thoughts, feelings, and choices. Now, see the power of these words. They all start with the word I, so that we can really see that it's about us. They are all about positive things. and They are all about our inner power our capacity inside of us. So, these two exercises are too important to start to be conscious about our negative and positive thoughts. It's really hard to change a pattern that has been our whole life. If you are used to feeling bad, it's really hard to change that overnight. But what you can do is, if you start feeling bad, if you start thinking negative, actually be conscious about it and admit that you are feeling that way or th that you are thinking that way and forgive yourself. Okay, I got mad about my partner or about my teammate and instead of you say, okay, I yell at her, I thought negative things about her that was wrong, I did it unconsciously, I don't intend to do it again and that wasn't my intention. And if you start reflecting and being conscious, all of those things will start to decrease. Start being conscious about everything and stop living in autopilot. If we let our bodies and our feelings drive our minds, we are going to die and we're going to have the same poor life. We need to start letting our mind be the one who takes the wheel. And how do we do that? By being conscious about everything. Change your state of being, reflect about what you're doing wrong, and you will change your whole life. This is a really private and personal exercise. You don't have to tell anyone that you're doing this. You can share with someone who's really going to encourage you. You can do whatever you want. But this is really crucial in order to change your life. So start doing it. Good luck.